Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube, which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions, by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Let us see what it is. So uh, the search means search engine, right? So when uh, here we are going to talk about search engine now, search engine works basically. And uh, as part of that, we are going to talk about uh, electric search, Kibana, yeah so this is what uh, our area is okay right so what happens means why why this is needed basically right when when you uh, forget about um, think about how we search basically right so uh, what happens that from an application we get you know uh, we get data and, and we, we took that data we put this data in, into database basically right and in database we search for the data again okay this is the conventional way of searching that says that okay keep all the data in database and from database you take out you query the database and take out the data Okay, uh, this is the way the conventional way of searching happens, but think about the current way means as for example, think about Google, how much data Google has, can, can, can it keep data, all the data in conventional database, how it will manage, there is a data is completely dynamic, right, you search anything, right, and those things can be there at different places across the globe, right, and and, and most of the things the search engine itself doesn't manage basically. So what it does that, so there has to be, if Google will start keeping a database like a structure, um, think about the infrastructure, think about the time that it takes, retrieval as well, right? So there is a lot of, uh, so this, so so the it is it is very clear that the conventional way of um, searching the data uh, will not work in this way so here uh, this uh, the concept of search engine and uh, working on different kind of uh, system which can enable the search faster overall the second thing that now it is right one of the you know buzzword at big data what what it is basically right it's again a huge set of data and out of that you you um, there are the tools on top of it that that can help us to uh, make sense of the, the that huge uh, set of data and a lot of things depends upon that a lot of decision depends upon that uh, on data right so uh, that's why uh, this uh, overall elk stack is very important as well as interesting as well because we can correlate that how okay we are using um, the search engines feature, but we are using Google day in and day out. But we uh, we want to know that what 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 is behind that, how it works, and uh, yeah, the things may not be that simple that we we are going to go through. But overall, the mechanism is the same. This is the way the things will happen, and during the session, you will get an idea that how how this happens overall.
right? How the search engine works, how this uh, overall uh, big data uh, uh, and uh, the works overall, right? And how you uh, put uh, how the data is placed there, how that huge amount of data gets managed. So all these steps we, we, we are going to cover as part of this session. Okay. Now, uh, okay, so let us uh, go, uh, go back to uh, that point and before and uh, in the meantime, what we are going to use for the for, for the session is this. Uh, in the meantime, we can begin on that. I can see a couple of more points, participants joining in. So let me share now what we can do. For the session, we will use Elastic Cloud, okay? So I want all of you to create Elastic Cloud account. It, it is just, uh, it will just take you a couple of minutes. You just need to enter your login ID and password. Let me do with, along with you, with a fresh account. I have done with other accounts. Let me do with you along. Uh, uh, let uh, me share the link, and I want all of you to create an account here. Okay. Uh, let me uh, log in our meeting. Let me register better it is that you can go through with me so the, again the expectation is same though we don't have enough time to you know have you doing hands-on and troubleshooting but i try my best to if you can do along with me that can help okay so let us do it so uh I'm signing up. So it is simple, no credit card, no detail needed. Just putting my mail ID, you just do it along with me. That will help. So you start free trial, it gives you 15 days of trial and that is enough for you to have hands on overall yes we will see the installation um, in local or aws as well but for the purpose of hands-on on the tool we will use this uh, elastic cloud okay so we start free trial So you all are doing it along with me, right? Boris, Anupam, Sanjit. I yes, yes. Yeah, I pasted you the link, just do it. So then create deployment, this will come. Okay. And along with that, let me There is perhaps I need to log in and then add there. Mm-hmm. 
just you need to click on this you might got a mail from them and then verify and accept so your email got verified okay open elastic cloud let's open it from here okay And here you can perhaps unlock. You start your free trial, and here you are. Have you all reached up to this stage? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, so just you need to do create deployment. This is one step process and this 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 will be this we will be using just uh, save these credentials with you that might be helpful just try here. I already have one account but just I thought to do it and now it is creating deployment let it will take uh, two three minutes okay so okay so let it continue and let us move to our presentation basically so our setup is ready uh, we will be ready in two three minutes and then let us use this time to continue further on this okay so overall, when you talk about again, uh, because Sanjeev joined a bit late, so we are talking about how search engine works and basically uh, what are the various components on that. And we talked about that, that what is the traditional way of uh, searching things uh, like we have all the data in database and we query the database when we need the data. That is a common way of searching. But this doesn't work in case of um, uh, in case of when the, 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 the data is used and not in our control, it's dynamic completely. In those cases, retrieving from database and all. And, and the third thing is we need that data quick, right? Consider Google, uh, Google how much time it takes you takes to fetch the the most relevant data for you when you when you search about it so there has to be a very uh, a mechanism uh, a more much better and quicker mechanism so that the search engine works uh, so that this whole big data thing works overall right we uh, we have such trillions trillions and of trillions of data available trillions of trillions gb data available and now and you fetch it within microseconds how you do that okay so th this is just we talked about and let us move further on that so basically we know the concept right there are means overall whenever uh, you you do anything right you know you need you need obviously memory space right you need a memory segments where uh, you are going to keep data okay so these are called nodes so nodes are various segments you know the overall the indexes and everything wherever you are going to put it there those are called nodes okay so the nodes are various you can say segments okay so this is one thing the second thing is uh, cluster cluster is the collection of terms collection of sorry nodes so this is uh, these are the common terms that we are going to use throughout the course so one is node second is cluster cluster is group of nodes okay okay 
Now the third thing is what is the difference? Where where is the, is the is the difference lies? How how the overall dynamics that how you can search faster so definitely you might have heard about in database as well there is indexing concept right so if you want to fetch quick you need to have indexes there so here also like this is the data this is the real data like name country how it will be stored like this so you will have index you will have the document type you will have the id so index is group of similar kind of when you group similar kind of data together as for example pe people is of one type right so inside people you can put uh, all the you know um, uh, people database of the country as for example your um, electoral database as for example how, how you put there uh, so this thing like you have your name and country okay you if you will just put it directly in this is the way it is there in database in case of uh, our uh, search engine this is the way it is kept and this is what we are going to see there so there are uh, we mentioned right so there are the index index is a, a group of similar type of data and again if you, if you will see in term of database it's it's nothing it's like table right so you have different table for different purposes so it's like that right so it is people index department index and in that the indexing is done and based on the index you, you search for that another difference is it is in the json format okay so that it is universally accepted and quick to search with this so this is the second thing um, and you can see right under under uh, different people index there are different people mentioned department okay okay leave it about that so this is the summary okay so we talked about nodes node stores the data that we add to elastic search okay so that that had that has the data that is stores the data a cluster collection of nodes okay data how it is stored we have seen that data is stored as document if you will see the type is underscore doc that is the document type so data is stored in in as uh, as document or all and the group of documents are called indices okay so these are the four terms that we are going to use majorly and then there are some more definitely um, uh, but yes these are the basic terms that you need to understand here number one nodes where you keep the data you store the data cluster group of nodes and data is stored in form of json as the as type document and group of document is called indices okay so now we will uh, perhaps our code is ready was saying five minutes right what about to this this is the one yes close this okay so uh deployment is ready for all of you right yes yes good. okay good so just continue on this
So in uh, today's session, we will see some, do some hands-on on um, how to, how you add data there. So uh, how you explore on my own. So this is the option that you have to choose. You have to choose explore on my own. And for the purpose of and so on, you will need this under management, under management, okay, dev tools. You can see a console. Can you see a console here? Yes. Yes. Okay, good good okay okay whatever you know whatever thing we will spend on this discussing about the theory right once we will do a basic uh, thing on ground it is much better so let us do it Yes, remove all these things. Okay. So, so where we are into Kibana, okay. So Kibana is um, basically uh, elastic search as such is you can say back end, okay. And Kibana is basically front end. You can say elastic search as, uh, as uh, in general, you can say database and you query using Kibana. So it is, it is like that. And uh, so whatever you know hands hands on you are going to do it is on kibana basically okay now let us let us see what we can do here as for example you are going to this the Though this is a wrapper, but ultimately it is going to use API. Okay, so glit underscore, for example, cluster. We talked about cluster, right? Cluster is group of nodes. Get underscore cluster. Okay, and uh, this is a, you can say API endpoint, and there we I want to check the health of the cluster okay so this is the cluster name cluster means the cluster in which we are querying so this is our cluster okay in in demo we get only one node okay so one cluster and then there are multiple nodes within that uh, and we we can just get one deployment version overall okay so cluster this is green the number of nodes in that number of data nodes we will talk about threads active threads so this is uh, another uh, uh, terminology that we are going to going to see so we have seen right number of nodes there are three nodes within the within a cluster so we were when we talked about a cluster a combination of nodes so this is the cluster name within the cluster name there are three nodes okay data nodes are two uh, primary threads we will talk about it ignore for now active sets 174 what is primary what is act active so what are those we will talk about threading and uh, yes so let us let us go back to this uh, some uh, couple of new terms that we have learned right now okay so again we talked about we know cluster now we know nodes now 
okay what we don't know is salts okay the same so this is what we have done right so basically this is api and there are multiple apis and within api there are there are commands so when you will see you and we want to find out what are the api that this supports so you can find out the list of that and not only that it provides you in pointer as for example under so cluster what are the different endpoints that that you can do within cluster so cluster has a location health pending tasks settings state stat and all that similarly you can you, you can find out so this is this this is uh, you can see you know how easy it is right means uh, from the perspective of your understanding uh, of uh, this tool overall this is easy to understand right uh, and the data is also kept in a in a in very very simple way uh, you can say copy the, the way that we want to be used to study in, in basic computer science that how the searching can be quicker and all that but uh, yeah but yeah overall the concept overall is very simple to understand uh, and it is simple to hands for you to hands on okay let us uh, talk about threading okay so threading is we talked about indices right what was the dot that we talked about right documents are grouped together with indices so it's a group of documents indices are group of documents and setting is to divide indices into smaller pieces so there are the multiple uh, you know then group of documents are there it is indices so it's a and then you are cutting that group into smaller pieces further okay so each piece is a is a thread sard basically so sard is a you can say subset or a, a, a part of indices okay so when you break indices into multiple part each part is called sard okay sorting is done at index level purpose is horizontal scaling so and uh, let us see how how this works yeah because it is a no it's the elastic shard is similar is it the same concept um, because mongodb uses sharding too that's or right. it, it's the same concept okay yeah it's same concept of sharding that it uses yeah okay so uh, if we will continue on that so how this does okay so when when you say right node has a limited size and data and you say index uh, you see the index size is 600 gb and you have nodes of uh, say capacity 500 gb 500 gb how you will fit in this index here you cannot fit in here you cannot fit in here you need the index to break so that you have data distributed across the nodes right uh, uh, right now what you are doing you are handling uh, you cannot handle all the data at index so what you will put do you will cut index into parts you will put one part here you will put one part here this is the way this uh, uh, this sorting works okay so sorting is basically yes it's an independent index it's a, it's a, it's a kind of a subset of you know it's a subset it's sorted is an apache you can index will not go into that what it, it is but yes it's, it's, it's like that an elastic search index consists of one or more using index so sarad has no predefined size it grows as document are added to it Okay, it. A SRAD may store up to about two billion documents. That's what that limit of uh, a SRAD is. Okay, so you can think about you know the 
huge amount of data it stores and and this is one slide this is a you can say smallest piece of of uh, overall data that uh, search engine works on so this is the smallest you can say piece right because node within node uh, within cluster there are nodes within node there are slides okay so this is the you can say smallest unit right and within that there are documents and all that but the smallest unit of history that you are going to work work okay so we talked about the term and let us go back again thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today